I'm a little nervous being here right now. But I'm happy. Satisfied or nervous? <laughs> Satisfied. Yeah. Well, last night I, I woke up at three o'clock and I had a conversation with you. And what I'd like is for your help to get just over that little bump. I know I'm so close to my goal. And it's... What is your goal? Well, right now it's buying a boat. And... Satisfaction. It's not the boat, it's satisfaction. Well, yeah, exactly. You think the boat's the path to satisfaction. Might be, but well, you've got to find other paths to satisfaction before the boat. And then the boat will just come to enhance the satisfaction that you found. If you need the boat for the satisfaction, it doesn't work. But if satisfaction is present and then the boat embellishes the satisfaction, now you're cooking. I've been getting better and better and better and better. And ready and ready and ready and ready. Yep. Why do you want the boat? What is it about it? Being free, having fun. Do you feel free? Yeah, pretty much. I'm getting better at it too. Because if you feel free, then the boat will just come to demonstrate that. But if you need the boat for freedom, it can't come. Actually, I don't need the boat. You don't need the boat, you just want the boat. Yeah. You just want the boat because it enhances things that feel good to you. Okay. Ooh, feel how good that feels? Yeah. We have some questions for you and then we want to hear you. When we talk about this receptive mode yes. and we talk about being under the influence of your inner being and in every waking moment, you're under the influence of something. Are you under the influence of your inner being? Or are you under the influence of some problem you're worried about? So let's put this into a poignant conversation for you. Are you under the influence of desire or need? You just told us you don't need the boat. So you're under the influence of desire. You just want to feel the freshness of being under the influence of desire because when you're under the influence of desire rather than need, then the absence doesn't bother you. If you're under the influence of I really need something and it's not happening, then it's hard to stay satisfied. But when you really know that you're under the influence of desire, and that you don't need it for stability and you don't need it for satisfaction. You don't need it for anything. You just want it because it represents the satisfaction that is the basis of who you are. Oh, now it flows in so easily once you're there and right now you are. If you try to consider how it will come, then that introduces dissatisfaction. So don't do that because the universe is not asking you ever hear this ever to justify the means with which you are going to get something. All the universe asks for is your non-resistant desire. Non-resistant desire will bring you anything and everything. So think about the boat, satisfied. Think about being on the boat, satisfied. Think about boating on the boat, satisfied. Think about eating on the boat, sleeping on the boat, playing on the boat, inviting people on the boat, satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. Think about paying for the boat. That's where I get caught up. But what we want you to understand is that that's not a valid reason. That's just an old belief that is in the way because you don't have to figure that out. The universe has already gathered all the cooperative components. All you have to be is so satisfied that you allow it to flow, but you got to get your level up to your level so that it can flow and worrying about the money keeps you at a place where it can't flow in easily. Does that make sense to you? So once again, I understand the getting in alignment, staying, staying in the satisfaction. And I just want that little tap, tap on the back. What you know? we want for you, we want satisfaction to be enough and then the boat to come rather than the boat to come, which makes you feel satisfied. Well, no, like I said before, the boat's not, it's not that that's going to make me satisfied. All right, so I'm, I'm, convince I'm, us of that. Make us know you mean that. Because so far, we're pretty sure <laughs> that. I did put a lot of intention on having the boat would bring me satisfaction. Is the boat going to prove something to somebody? 
It's going to prove something to you or something to someone else. It will. It really is proof of alignment. That's exactly. This is a breakthrough key for everybody. Do you want this boat to prove your alignment to someone else whom you are trying to seek mutuality with? Or do you want this boat to confirm to you your alignment with your source, leaving everybody else out of the equation? Second one. Well, then you're done. If you really mean that, we're not suggesting that you don't. Because most people, even as much as you've heard here today and as much as you've resonated with it, you still want to prove to others your alignment because for most it's a comparative world and the comparative world really helps you in step one because all this stuff that's going on makes you hone and clarify and identify your desires but once you get this that this is about you and you and that your inner being knows about that boat has already made arrangements for that boat has already lined up that boat has arranged everything that you need about getting that boat that it's all the cooperative components are in place and the only little piece just like you asked the little piece that needs to click into place is that you want to feel satisfaction for your own feeling of satisfaction your own clicking into place with your own inner being not because one other person on the planet will then praise you for your deliberate creative ability because a lot of people want to create to show off it used to be look how smart I am now it's look how spiritual I am <laughs> I'm in alignment with source energy and I'm creating things that you aren't this is no reflection on you it's what uh, mass consciousness is doing a lot of I can't make a mistake because I'm a deliberate creator and I wouldn't want anybody to think that I don't hold myself in pure positive energy at all times no one does no one ever does you didn't come to hold yourself in pure positive energy at all times you came for some step one too because if without step one there is no expansion so step one is Contrast causes you to ask. Step two is source answers. So cooperative components gathered. Step three is you're satisfied. You're in that receptive mode. Step four is you're really good at it. You own it. You've isolated it. You prefer it. You like it. You're good at it. You do it often or mostly. Step five is you step back into step one and you're not one bit mad at yourself. You step back into step one and you're just like your inner being who wants you sometimes to be in step one who understands the value of you being in step one who appreciates and praises you for being in step one but you're smart enough not to make a career of step one but you're not mad at yourself for stepping into step one so you're not trying to hypocritically and that word isn't pointed at you either to hypocritically pretend that I'm always in the state of alignment you're not but you know the difference you've identified the difference and you know which way to lean so now you're in control sometimes you like adventure sometimes you like a wild ride sometimes you want a more peaceful ride sometimes you want contentment sometimes you want ecstasy sometimes you want contentment satisfaction sometimes you want passion and love and appreciation and clarity sometimes you want contentment sometimes you want enough contrast to launch something into being sometimes you really want to know what you do not want because you really want to know what you do want so all of it is valuable that's why you came if you'd remained with your inner being you would never have a step one moment and if no one ever had a step one moment there would be no expansion of this universe so you want to make peace with the less than satisfied but you want to lean toward the more satisfied and boats and other things that you care about will flow into your experience in complete reflection perfect reflection of what you got going on this is how your inner being sees you this is what we see this is who we know you to be yeah you want to demonstrate a boat because boats are way fun but what you want to demonstrate for the world the benefit that you want to offer as an uplifter to the world is how good you feel when you're in the state of satisfaction and allowing your alignment that's the gift that you give that's what you want to reflect outward and sure boats and all of that stuff is representation of that but did we help you put that one little piece in place yes yeah. working on it mm. but here it is uh -huh. we're gonna speak it again that piece is I want 
this satisfaction because satisfaction feels good not I want this satisfaction because it will get me stuff that will represent my alignment which will benefit other people did you hear the distinction oh, yeah. I want satisfaction because satisfaction feels good and it's natural because satisfied is where my inner being is stay with us I want satisfaction because I want to love myself like my inner being loves me I want satisfaction because I want to love others like my inner being loves others I want satisfaction because nothing less than that will do that's why I want the satisfaction oh and boats come too <laughs> that brings everything that life has helped me to identify that I want all that comes that comes because it's natural for it to come it may sound screwy to you we would really like you to hear this you don't want to set goals you already did that life caused you to put goals in your vortex and your inner resources have gathered everything up and done all the heavy lifting so now if you want to call it a goal and it might be an intention an objective one goal and one goal only satisfaction feel good that was a satisfying meal that was such a satisfying conversation this is such a satisfying conversation that was such a satisfying memory this is such a satisfying moment in time and a satisfying moment is one that you share with your inner being which you always do but you get to feel how your inner being feels while you're sharing it that's what satisfaction is it's seeing this moment feeling this moment through the eyes of source really really good conversation yeah. 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 we really like you we like what you've stirred up we like where you now are we like the vibrational becoming that has happened here we like the clarity that is in your being that is exaggerated from where you started we like that you have a sense of what to do next we like that you don't feel any great big agenda that you don't have any really strong sense of responsibility but that you do feel more alive we like that you are in closer proximity to the unfolding of the things that you've been asking for and we like that you will be more aware of your part in it as it unfolds we like most of all that you are going to feel your conscious awareness of the relationship between what you're doing with your reaching for satisfaction and the reason that things are unfolding for you as they are that's the piece that we like the most is that you are more in control than you've ever been in your life of what comes next we cannot express with enough words there just are not enough of them so we flow vibration to you all day every day you don't have to be in the presence of Abraham who is flowing through Esther's apparatus we are flowing to you all day every day our appreciation of where you are the important part you play in this expanding universe it is our desire for you that every single thing that you think you've ever wanted comes to you and comes to you quickly and comes to you easily but we have one thing that we want more than all of those things put together and that is that you have fun in the process of the unfolding of the perfection that is you there is great love here for you and for now, we are complete.